Now, artificial intelligence can be used to accelerate disability inclusion, creating a more accessible digital world. Now, Huawei, in partnership with UNESCO, Kenya Kise, organized a three-month hackathon with students from the Huawei RCT Academy. Efraim Moreza from Cabrock University is actually the student that emerged the winner in the competition. His AI model is actually to help with autism diagnosis, report generation, and also data management. We've been running an AI hackathon for the past three months with our students who are under the Huawei ICT Academy, certified students. So we brought together these students at the Kenya Institute of Special Education, have them grouped into teams for them to be able to develop solutions to the challenges that the specialists at KISE presented to them. So that is the major reason as to why we are here today. However, we do have other engagements that we've had during the day. We've had a lot of panel discussions talking about AI. Some of it has talked about investment into AI and individuals who, persons who are skilled in different uh, technical spaces that can be able to develop AI softwares and solutions that can better benefit the society. First of all, it was to introduce automation in terms of a repeated process, in terms of autism diagnosis at KISE. So what I did was to, first of all, they are doing manually, having papers, and papers are resource intensive. What I did was to automate the process to have a, like an online form, a questionnaire, which can be filled in. And once it's filled in, the inputs are proceeded to a model, a machine learning model, a classification model to be precise. So I used several models just to have the right accuracy, to have a good baseline to choose from. Well, that's all for Business Prime tonight. I'm Noki Pimbo.